Rocks are everywhere. They're in our driveways. They're in buildings. The classroom that you're watching this in is right under rocks. Ro the whole earth is made up of rocks, but, but rocks are always changing. And it's, and it's partially because of the rock cycle, but there's another way that rocks change. It's weathering and erosion. Weathering and erosion are different things. Weathering means the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. There are four different types of weathering. The first type of weathering is called physical weathering. An example of this type of weathering is when water seeps into cracks in rocks and freezes. The ice expands and splits apart the rocks apart. This is called frost wedging. Salt can do the exact same thing. Another example of physical weathering is the damage winds can do to rock. When a strong wind blows sand and other sediment over a larger rock, small pieces of the rock can be broken or worn away over time. Another type of weathering is chemical weathering. Chemical weathering happens when different minerals have water flow over them. So the water causes the minerals to chemically change. Over time, if lots and lots of water flows over the minerals, so they can chemically change so much that it will cause the rock or the mineral to break apart. Another way that chemical weathering is possible to happen is when water mixes with chemicals in the air and the soil, causing it to turn into acid that can break down rocks. The next type of weathering is called biophysical weathering. This type happens when wind blows tree seeds into cracks and rocks. Now the trees somehow grow and the roots come down to try to reach the ground and cracks the rocks apart. The last type of weathering is biochemical weathering. Th this type happens when mosses or lichens get the nutrients they need to grow from the minerals inside of rocks. Using chemicals in their plant tissue, they break down the um, minerals, causing the rocks to break apart as well. Erosion is the next part of this video. Erosion means the further breaking down of rocks and minerals and the transportation of sediment. There are three different types of erosion. The first type of erosion is wind erosion. In very dry places, winds can have massive effect on the rock. Wind erosion happens in dry places because there is very few plants, meaning there is no plant roots or grass to protect sediment from the wind. Wind can pick up sediment or small rocks and carry them far, sometimes 4,000 miles. Wind can also pick up large stones. If you want to know how pit wind can pick up really, really big rocks that weigh several hundred pounds, go on a computer, go on the internet, and type in Sailing Stones Death v Valley, California. So excited to go on that roller coaster over there. Hey, what does that small black printing say? Warning, a um, ride may cause wind erosion. I don't know what that means. But, enough stalling, let's get on the ride. Uh -oh. This cannot end well. Yeah! Ah! That rod made me smaller. Did it have something to do with that wind erosion? I don't know. The next type of erosion is ice erosion. Ice erosion centers on glaciers. The glaciers move forward very, very slowly by the force of gravity. As it moves forward, it scrapes its way along, picking up any loose rock or sediment in its path. It can also trap sediment inside of it and carry big rocks on top of it. It is the reason why Saskatchewan is so flat. The last type of erosion is water erosion. This type happens when moving water wears away at rocks and sediments it flows over. It can also pick up bits of rock and sediment that are very small and move them to new places. This is the most powerful type of erosion. The Grand Canyon is a great example of water erosion. Over time, the Colorado River has carved the bottom of the massive Grand Canyon. Oh, my Rock in the shower, rock, 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 rock in the shower. Hey, why not?
I made it smaller. Oh, I bet it's smoking. I made the shower because I smell stinky. I didn't even take a shower or the bath. For the past week, I didn't, didn't smell. And now I'm getting clean. Oh, no, I'm getting really, really small. Ah, I'm going down the drain. Ah, I'm in the drain. Ah. To sum up all we have learned in this video, let's take a look at a unique rock in New Brunswick. The rock's name is Elephant Rock, and it had a trunk-like section of the rock that eventually fell down because of weathering and erosion. It fell down sometime in 2016, and it fell down because of frost witching. That might have been the main reason it fell, but wind and water also might have helped. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Goodbye!